What's up everyone, this is Max Simplifar. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about the best notification center tweaks so far available in Cydia for your iOS 5 device. Uh, but before we get started, I would like to tell you that unfortunately so far there isn't a Cydia tweak that allows me to show my iPhone screen on the Mac. So I've decided to take screenshots and show for you the tweaks. So we're going to start first of all with the calendar widget tweak for the notification center. Once you have downloaded it from Cydia and enabled it, this is how it's going to look like, showing for you the days, the weeks, and the month, the year, and everything. I really find it useful. That's the first tweak. Another tweak there is uh, the SB settings. Now, all of you may be familiar about SB settings, but the newly updated SB settings in Cydia actually allows you to actually allows for an integration with notification center which as you can see very useful you simply slide from above and then you can enable the 3g your airplane bluetooth mode brightness the cellular data and many things and even there is more over here cellular data the location the process the ssh and the wi-fi i really find it very useful instead of always going to the settings and enabling or disabling those things also if you are over here and you slide it to the right you're going to find those options in which you can respring you can power you can refresh you can drop win and much much more and over here it tells you the details of your um, ios device and once you open the notification center it's going to be set over here when you slide to the left you're going to get this and when you slide to the right you're going to get this so it's really good next we go for another notification center tweak uh, and it is the music center tweak. The music center tweak, once you have downloaded from City and enabled it, this is how it's going to look like. When you go, when you swipe it to the left, it's going to show you the iPod icon or the music icon where you can play, pause, and all of that. I'm sorry, I didn't take a screenshot of this one, but anyways, this is how it's going to look like. And over here is going to tell you the name of the song, the artist, the album that's playing. And over here, uh, oh, over here, the name of the song, here the album, artist, and everything. And over here is going to show you the artwork of the uh, the music that's being played. And as I said, if you slide it to the left, you can play, pause, or um, go back to a song, or go forward to another, and all of that. Next tweak is the We Search tweak. The We Search tweak in the Notification Center allows you to directly search into Google, YouTube, Wiki, or Dictionary right from here. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. The next notification tweet we have is We Spaces. We Spaces allow you to go directly to any space that has been opened on your iPhone, whether it's an application related, for example, the settings, or if even Safari was opened, you simply select to the left or the right to go for Safari, or if you simply want to go to a certain home screen, if you have gotten many, uh, many slides on your iOS device. I find it very useful. Another tweak is the app tweak. The app tweak allows you to either show all the apps over here or over over here and simply slide them so that you can get to all of them or you can simply choose particular apps to place them over here so that you can get quick access to them right from the notification center. Another is called Wii Switcher. Now when you double press on the home button you open up an app switcher in which you can uh, remove background apps and you can play or pause your um, your music or open the orientation all of that well the we switcher is nothing more than the app switcher itself but integrated with the notification center i find it very useful especially if you're going to use activator to ass assign a double press of the home button to open up the notification center in this case it becomes really useful by the way i want to mention something uh, so far there has been actually a glitch in the music center tweak because if the music center tweak is enabled every time you remove the iPod or your music from the app switcher okay your iPhone is going to respring and it's going to take so much time so that's why avoid getting uh, that's why avoid getting this tweak till the, the glitch is uh, till the glitch is fixed okay just thought of telling you now how can you go through all of this is simply go to the settings you press the notifications tab over here and then over here you're going to get in the notification center that's the SB settings I told you about in the calendar widget and the ones the other ones the music center the we search the we space and those other things are already there and the app center okay 
and of course you can even edit them like for example if you have noticed over here i got the calendar uh, i got the sb settings first and then the calendar but i can rearrange it so that i can get the calendar first just by pressing edit that was over here and when i press the edit i can simply rearrange it and press done and that's it okay now let me show you the sources that you must have on your iphone so that you can get those tweaks though that the sources that you must have Please pause the video if you want to go through them, the rest of them, okay? Once you've gotten those sources, here are the tweaks. The We Search for Notification Center, which is this tweak, okay? The We Spaces for Notification Center, which is this tweak. The Widget Task for Notification Center, which is this tweak. Uh, I'm sorry, I said it's called We Switcher. It's actually called Widget Task. Sorry about that. The Calendar for Notification Center, which is this tweak. The App Center for Notification Center, which is this one. Uh, the Music Center, the one with the glitch, which I advise you not to download till now, till the glitch is fixed, which is this one. And finally, SB settings, okay, You once you have downloaded it from Big Boss system, it's going to be updated and integrated to Notification Center. All you have to do is go to the settings, notifications. When you go to the notifications, you simply enable it in the settings over here. Well, that's it for Notification Center tweaks that are available so far in Apple, uh, I mean Insidia. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't subscribe. And if you have 